Dear listener, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is F test to check variable significance. This is the second part on F test. In part one, I have already covered the concept of F test, derivation of F test, and exercises on simple linear regression. But actually, F test is more useful for multiple linear regression, where we are going to check the significance of variable in combined matter in combined manner. Now let us start. The overall significance F test reveals that our linear regression model fits the data more accurately than a model with no independent variable. That's why we are checking that whether in regression process there is need to take the independent variable or not, or just we can give the answer by the average. The F test can evaluate many regression coefficient at once in contrast to a T test which can evaluate only one regression coefficient at a time. F test is a statistical test which is very much flexible in nature. F test is typically employed in regression analysis and ANOVA. The F test will get the same result as a T test when there is just one independent variable. However, the F test is the only one that can use to determine whether a relationship is significant overall when there are multiple independent variable. The building of two independent estimate of sigma square form the basis for use of the F test to determine the relationship of the multiple independent variable. This estimate of sigma square is nothing but MSR mean square due to regression and mean square error. Now this mean square due to regression is nothing but ESS by K and mean square error is RSS by N minus K minus 1. In my first, pre first part of the video this is already explained in detail. ESS is nothing but the difference between the actual uh, predicted value and the average and while RSS is nothing but the residual sum of square that is nothing but the difference between the actual value and predicted value. Whatever that difference we make the square and take the summation and that becomes our ESS and RSS respectively. This k is nothing but the number of independent variable while n minus k minus 1 is nothing but the degree of freedom where n is total number of records case number of independent variables now if we arrange this we are getting the formula like this even for f test we can obtain the formula in terms of r square also now when we solve the problem at that time we require to know all these things and when you know all the things that is ESS RS TSS K N minus K minus 1 N minus 1 then we can obtain the result for MSR MSC and from that we can obtain the f test now let us start with the first problem this is the y is dependent variable and total eight number of records are there and two independent variables are there which is x1 and x2 so this is nothing but the input table is given first we require to find out the regression equation regression equation is minus 6.8675 plus 3.1473.1479 x1 minus 1.6561 x2 this regression equation we found from this table total number of records are 8 and where k is equal to 2 that is number of independent variables degree of freedom is 8 minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 5 now to check with the f test we require to state the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis in null hypothesis we state that that two independent variable that is beta 1 and beta 2 they are not significant beta 1 and beta 2 are nothing but the slope values of these two uh, associated with these two independent variable and in alternative hypothesis we make the statement that this beta 1 and beta 2 are significant and they are contributingly significantly in the regression process so this is alternative hypothesis and this is the null hypothesis first we require to make this table so here x1 x2 is given and y is the dependent variable which is also given from the regression equation we can find out the y cap now we require to put the value of x1 and x2 into this equation and we will get the y cap value so we can find out the y cap then the important portion is to find out rss ess and if we know the rss and ess we can find out the tss also because rss uh, TSS is equal to RSS plus ESS. Here, <coughs> RSS is nothing but the residual sum of square, which is nothing but the difference between the 
actual value and predicted value we make the square and take the summation so answer is 203.44 and ESS is nothing but the explained sum of square due to regression so it is nothing but the difference between the predicted value and the this is y dash that is average value and we are taking the square and sum so we are getting the result for this there is no need to calculate the TSS but if possible we can calculate the TSS also now formula is n minus k minus 1 divided by k into ESS divided by TSS minus ESS we are just putting the value and we are getting the result 64.37 now F test calculated is 64.37 now we will check the F table now for F table we require to take the uh, degrees of freedom for numerator as well as for denominator in the formula we can see this that for the numerator degree of freedom is k and for de denominator it is n minus k minus 1 then we require to check the f table according to this now here degree of denominator is 2 that is number of independent variable and as total 8 number of records are there therefore degree of freedom is 5 here we can make the intersection and we are getting the value 3.78 here we can find out that our calculated value is more than this 3.78 so that for alpha <coughs> equal to 0.10 that is significance level we are satisfying because this value to reject the null hypothesis this value should be greater than this 3.78 now we can go for the some fine details that is for 0.05 for 0.05 the value is 5.79 and our calculated value is 64.37 so we are getting still the better answer now we go for the final level that is 0 0.01 and the answer is 13.27 now 13.27 is still less than the 64.37 so we can say that that our variables are satisfied at 99 percent of confidence <coughs> f for 0.01 is 13.27 and our calculated value is 64.37 as our calculated value is greater than the value from the f table overall model is significant therefore conclusion is null hypothesis is rejected and parameter beta 1 and beta 2 are significant in nature means what they are contribution in linear regression now we will start with the exercise 2 now this equation is given where y is dependent variable where x1 x2 x3 x4 they are the independent variable from this table we first apply the multiple linear regression and we found the equation that is y cap is equal to minus 102.71 plus 0.61 x1 plus 8.92 x2 plus 1.44 x3 plus 0 0.01 x4 now here total 12 number of records are there and 4 independent variables are there therefore the degree of freedom is 12 minus 4 minus 1 which is equal to 7 <coughs> now as like previous problem we require to state the null hypothesis and alternative in null hypothesis we state that they are not significant and in alternative hypothesis we state that all uh, four variables that is slopes or coefficients are significant in nature then we can prepare this table in which this first five columns are given first we apply the linear multiple linear regression and we can find out the equation for y cap and in the y cap we are just putting this x1 to x4 value and we are calculating now after that we can calculate the rss tss and ess we take the uh, first difference then make the square and then take the summation so we are getting the result then we use the f formula put the values that is n minus k minus 1 is 7 k is 4 our ESS is 499.2.10 TSS minus a we can use RSS or TSS minus ESS 1699.12 so here it is represented as RSS but TSS is equal to RSS plus ESS so sometimes they give the table with a particular column so we require to make the adjustment and find out the solution here the degree of freedom is 1 and numerator is 4 because 4 independent variables are there and degree of freedom of denominator is 7 now we require to check for 0 0.10 here our calculated value for this is 5.1.4 and here we can check that for 4 and for 7 for intersection we are getting 2.96 now still this value is more 
so we satisfied at 90% then we can check for some fine level 4.05 our answer is 5.1.4 here answer is 4.12 still we satisfied 95% confidence but if we check 4.01 now answer is 7.84 so here we can't set the our answer so we require to take the previous range which is equal to 0.05 so the overall model is significant or parameter beta 1 to beta 4 are significant at 90% 95% of the confidence but not 99% of the confidence so we are checking basically the calculated f value and the value from the f table to reject the null hypothesis our calculated value should be greater than table value at that particular confidence interval <coughs> now see the third problem here purposely i have taken a very few records and we can observe that uh, there are four independent variables and one independent variable and number of records are very few so if we check degree of freedom is equal to one so there is a very less flexible model is there so when we derive the equation for this there are chances of overfitting and this will not uh, work for the future when the new unseen record comes for the prediction now here total number of records are 6 and k equal to 4 so first we require to find out the equation so this is the regression equation then we state the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis like our previous problem and after that we can create the table and <coughs> here first five columns are given from the regression equation we can calculate the y cap and rss tss ess we can calculate with the help of average of y now if we put the value into the formula we are getting the answer 0.76 now here we can easily find out that uh, we require to check at particular confidence interval now degree of freedom for the numerator is 4 while denominator is 1 so we require to take the intersection of the 4 and 1 and here we can find out that our answer is 0.76 like in but actual answer is 55.83 now 55 point this answer should be greater than this 50.83 so we can't accept the answer here that is we require to accept the null hypothesis now point uh, even we can go for point 20 point 30 but we can't accept this answer at the 90 percent of the confidence so if we want to check for 90 percent or more than 90 percent we have to uh, accept the null hypothesis that is nothing but variables are not significant so overall model is not significant null hypothesis accepted and parameters b1 to b4 are insignificant in nature so here we can easily observe that when more number of independent variables are there then the number of records should be more that is there should be degree of freedom which is more then we can get the robust regression model so there is actual relationship between the number of independent variables and the number of records that i am going to cover in our next subsequent videos so that's all about the f test now uh, sometimes in exam in sometimes in exam uh, instead of table they are directly giving this values and we require to calculate and this is very much easy because at such there is no calculation is involved so this y cap this equation of multiple linear regression is given tss is given and ess is given when these two values are there we can calculate the third value now number of records are 10 for this equation and k equal to 2 we can find out the degree of freedom we can skip that null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis now <coughs> TSS and ESS is given and TSS is equal to RSS plus ESS so we can easily calculate the uh, RSS that is which is nothing but TSS minus ESS which is equal to 507.75 so here we are just putting the value into the table and sometimes we solve the problem by the table because it becomes very systematic way and by calculation we are getting the F value as 42.85 now we require to check so here we check the value for 0.05 uh, because in problem sometimes they given that confidence interval that is we require to check the answer at 95% uh, <coughs> so for 95% we are directly checking the degree of freedom of numerator is 2 and while it is 7 of denominator and we are getting the answer 4.74 
and our calculated answer is 42.85 which is greater than this 44.74 so we are uh, rejecting the null hypothesis likewise we require to solve the previous problem see the next problem here this equation is given two independent variables are there the TSS and ESS is given we can calculate the RSS confidence interval that is we require to check the answer at again 95 percent then from n equal to 10 is given and k is nothing but the number of independent variables we can easily calculate the degree of freedom we can we have to require the state null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis then <coughs> TSS is equal to RSS plus ESS we can easily calculate the RSS by subtracting then we put the value into the table and we are getting the answer 43.50 then again we check at 95 and at this confidence interval we are getting the answer again 4.74 because numerator is 2 and 7 same as our previous problem and our answer is greater than this 43.50 so we are rejecting the null hypothesis and uh, rejecting the null hypothesis is nothing but that accepting of the alternative hypothesis and in alternative hypothesis we already stated that parameters b1 and b2 are significant in nature so that's all about the f test for multiple linear regression in the next video i am going to take the example of multiple linear regression in which we are applying simultaneously t test and f test to check significance of individual variable and to check the significance of all variables in combined way thank you